Tell me, now, okay, this is Mitch. Mitch is a recent graduate, right, of Lake Superior State University in robotics. Uh, got a few job offers here at the show. Yeah. Um, tell me about fabricating and the small fab shops. Yeah, so once all the small fab shops are starting to move towards automation, they're the last ones that are getting into it because there's not a ton of guys and they're the ones who can benefit the most from automation. It's easy to get into now with the URs like you can see over there. Yep. My dad could get into it, so it's made for anybody to get into it and start programming. Hey, hey, careful now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. And, and if you guys could tell me a little bit about, and if you guys want to come over here too, that'd be great. Okay. Get in their cab. Uh, if, uh, if you guys want to tell me about the KUKA project you all worked on. <laughs> So we built a vision-based depalletizing and palletizing uh, trade show ready workshop for Kuka Robotics. So we basically spent two semesters uh, designing and integrating um, this project. So um, Cameron worked a lot with the uh, end of arm tooling. I mean, you can talk more about it if you want. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we worked with Smalls on that. Um, what Kuka was trying to do was show how well their robots can like, be compatible with other people's products, and how well they can all connect. So we had Smalls end of arm tooling, Roboception cameras, I don't quite remember what our conveyor was, but it was just a project. Like a high conveyor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I worked on the vision system, so the Roboception vision system, wrote the API for it to connect uh -huh. with the robots, made all the robot programming, and then David not going to I did a lot of the simulation and a lot of the mechanical buildup, the work cell that surrounds the entire uh, uh, robots and everything. Yeah. I don't know, it's just a really cool project to get introduced to the in industry and how automation has kind of expanded over the years. Yeah. yeah, not often do you come from a college and your senior projects over a quarter million dollars, so it was pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so great. And, and you actually ended up with KUKA. Yeah, so I ended up with KUKA. Uh, yeah. I worked as an intern there for two years, um, asked my boss if he would sponsor the senior project. Um, he openly said yes, which I was not expecting. And uh, the project started out small and became very massive and now we're at Automate, it's actually at Automate. So, um, and then I ended up at KUKA. So it's, it's been a really awesome that journey. That is so cool. And you ended up? I'm at Mission Design and Automation in Holland, Michigan. Okay. And you did too? Yep. Same thing as well. Yeah, that's terrific. Yeah. Yes, sir. And they're all excited. <laughs> Hang oh, on, and you're, you with, you're with Mission. Hang on, you okay. guys are taking us for a ride, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's good. Great.